Greetings, everyone. Well, you knew I couldn't put it on pause for too long because there's still a lot to go into uh, with my existing collection, of course, but in addition to that, I've been continuing to hit the bargain bins like nobody's business, so I got a whole stack of new PS2 games. And that's what we're going to talk about today on the Multimedia Chronicles. Check out the stack, man. <laughs> well, how many we got here? We got two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten new games, and Annetta picked up a couple as well. All right, so I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about them because uh, most of these I haven't even fired up yet, so I don't really have a lot to talk about yet because I haven't played them. But uh, just to give you an overview of, of my latest bargain bin finds... Okay, to start off with, I get called fat a lot. Fat, gay, virgin, homo, loser living in his mom's basement. <laughs> That's me! That's me in a nutshell! No, actually, I haven't lived in my mom's basement since the 90s, and I've actually been on my own since the 80s. Living in mom's basement was just kind of a brief interlude between places, but... Uh, yeah, so anyway, I thought, hey, it would be great to get into some kind of exercise routine, you know? Drop some pounds, get rid of a few of these extra chins. Now, that's great in theory. We'll see how well it goes in practice. Stay tuned over the next couple years. We'll see how it goes. But uh, I thought, you know, I don't really like to go to the gym or do exercise. So I thought, well, what's a great way to get in shape that, that's fun for a gaming fiend like me? Well... I have an eye toy. <laughs> you see where I'm going with this? Yes. No, I didn't get the eye toy fitness program, uh, Kinetic. I'd like to, though, because apparently it's quite good. But I did get a couple of other games. Now, a while back, you may recall, I when I first picked up the eye toy, I got it in a package with, uh, with Play 2, which I don't think I've talked about in the... No, I haven't talked about it in the overviews yet. Well, that'll be in one of the upcoming episodes. Anyway, Play 2 is a lot of fun. It's, it's basically just a bunch of mini-games. So I thought, well, since I enjoyed Play 2 so much, why not get the first one? And for five bucks, you can't go wrong. And my nose is itchy. I scratched my nose. No, there's no outtakes of it. You won't be seeing it after the links at the end. Okay. So anyway, one thing about the iToy games is when you play these, unless you're in incredible shape, of course, you are freaking exhausted <laughs> after. I mean, they really put you through the paces, especially the ones like the boxing ones and, and stuff like that. It's just, uh, you know, it, it, you, you burn a lot of calories. So anyway, I thought, hey, what a perfect way to try to get in shape, lose some weight. Uh, let's play. Play! Let's play some iToy games. The other thing was I was thinking, you know, there really aren't a lot of iToy games. Like, it didn't really catch on that much. Um, there's, I think, seven in the entire iToy library. So I thought, well, why don't I just get the whole library and then just, you know, iToy my way to better health. So we got Play, and then Annetta actually was out shopping and, uh, and picked up one that I've been looking for for quite a while, Antigrav. Antigrav is cool. I actually played a demo of this one and again left me exhausted, but Antigrav basically you're flying around on a hoverboard and uh, you move your body like it uses sort of face tracking and body tracking and stuff uh, and wherever you move and jump and stuff uh, your character on screen does that. So it's one of the few iToy games where you don't actually appear on screen in the game. Uh, the, the camera is used strictly for motion tracking uh, and you control the character in the game with your body. But I really wanted to get this one because it reminds me a lot of Reboot. You know, how Bob would have the zip boards and stuff like that. So it's kind of like, you know, uh, almost like a, a Reboot type of thing. So pretty cool. Anti-Grav. Definitely looking forward to playing that one. And then, this one is one that has been recommended by everybody and their dog to me forever. Um, so I thought it was about time I picked it up. And for five dollars you can't go wrong. I'm of course talking about Max Payne. I've heard nothing but good things about this. Everybody loves it. 
and I thought it was about time I checked it out. I should be showing you the insides of these, shouldn't I? Okay, so here's play, here's the back. So as you can see, it puts you in the game. And then uh, got the disc and the instructions, of course. As you know, I like to make sure I get the instructions. So we got a nice, nice full color manual here that basically gives you a breakdown of, of all the uh, various games and what you need to do. So the, uh, the iToy games are also a lot of fun if you got a few mates over. You know, toss them back, a few brewskis. Boy, I guess you don't want to get too physically vigorous or you'll, you'll hurl. But, <laughs> but it's a lot of fun just to... Because we've got a little registration card. And then we got the, uh, the whole thing. And then we've got iToy Groove, which is sort of like the Dance Dance Revolution of the iToy world. So here we got... Yeah, I'm not going to bother showing you inside all the manuals. That's just going to take too long. But uh, anyway... Very cool. And then Max Payne. I'll just show you that the manuals are present. So Max Payne, we got the instructions there too. So very cool. So looking forward to playing all of those. Uh, and then this one. <laughs> this one, a lot of you are probably going to go, why did you get that game? It's so bad. Well, I got it because it was $1.99. State of Emergency. And I'm not entirely unfamiliar with this. I remember uh, my uncle picked it up. Uh, this came out shortly after GTA 3, and it's from Rockstar Games. And um, my uncle rented it one weekend, and, and he seemed to have a lot of fun with it. So I thought, ah, what the hell, for two bucks you can't go wrong. And uh, there you go. So it does have the instructions with it as well. So anyway, state of emergency, sort of, uh, I don't know, some kind of conspiracy thing. The big thing about it was you get into, like, crowds of people. Um, where is it here? You can have... Yeah, prepare for chaos as hundreds of people fill the screen. Each citizen reacts differently to events. So it sounds like it has some cool aspects to it, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Apparently it was lacking in some other regards. Then we picked up... I got tired of waiting for Netta to finish the second one, so I thought, you know, screw it. I'm going to get the third one. Jack 3. There you go. Again, for five bucks. And, of course, with the instructions. So I'm going to finally see how the trilogy ends. Really looking forward to playing this one, because I love the first two. Uh, I should mention, actually, with Anetta uh, moving out, there was some discussion about who gets what games. So basically what we did was we, we did a bit of trading between us. So she gave me uh, the Jack series and Sly Cooper, and then in exchange for which I gave her a couple of my games. I can't even remember which ones I gave her now, but uh, yeah. So anyway, pretty good trade. Pretty good trade.